Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to walk you through exactly how to use Canva Whiteboard, a fantastic visual tool that can make lesson planning a breeze, especially for teachers. Whether you're looking for a creative way to map out your English course, organize a field trip, or just bring your ideas to life, this tutorial will give you everything you need to get started confidently with Canva Whiteboard. Let's dive right in. First up, open up your web browser and head over to Canva. If you already have an account perfect, just log in. If not, don't worry, signing up is quick and free and you'll be up and running in no time. Once you're on Canva's homepage, you'll notice a big button that says Create, usually at the top right corner. Go ahead and click that. This is your gateway to all the different design options Canva offers. Now from the list of formats that pops up, you're going to want to select whiteboards. This option opens up a whole world of possibilities for visual thinking, collaboration, and planning. Unlike a typical presentation or worksheet, a whiteboard in Canva is a huge, flexible canvas where you can add anything you like, sticky notes, mind maps, flowcharts, images, you name it. This is one of the reasons teachers love it because it mirrors the experience of working on a real classroom whiteboard, but with powerful digital tools. Once you're inside the whiteboard section, you'll see a range of templates ready-made for different purposes. For this example, we're going to look for brainstorm whiteboards. You can scroll through the options or use the search bar, both work fine. I love using brainstorm templates because they really help to break big ideas into manageable chunks. Imagine you're planning an English-speaking course. With a brainstorm whiteboard, you can lay out lesson themes, activities, vocabulary, and even assessment ideas, all in an organized, visual way. Go ahead and click on the brainstorm template that catches your eye. Now here's the fun part, customization. Let's say you're brainstorming for an English speaking course, or maybe you want to plan a special trip with your students. Start by clicking on any block of text you see and typing in your own details. For example, the center of your brainstorm might be class trip to the museum or English conversation club. Then branch out with related topics like meeting times, preparation activities, student groups, or even reminders for what to pack. If you want to move things around, just drag and drop elements wherever they make sense for your plan. Maybe you want to color code different sections. No problem, Canva makes it simple to change colors, fonts, and shapes to fit your style. And don't forget, you can add images or stickers if you want to make it more engaging for your students. This is a great place to really let your creativity shine. Take your time with this part. Customizing your whiteboard is where all the magic happens. Don't worry if it's not perfect right away. The best part about digital whiteboards is you can tweak and update them whenever inspiration strikes. And that's it. You've just created a dynamic, collaborative whiteboard in Canva that you can use for any lesson, project, or team activity. Once you're happy with your design, you can share it with colleagues, present it to your class, or even invite your students to brainstorm right alongside you. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you have any questions about Canva whiteboards or suggestions for future tutorials, drop them in the comments below. I love hearing from you all. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips and creative teaching ideas. Happy planning and I'll see you in the next one.